Hey, welcome back to Learning the Basics. This is episode four. We're gonna do a little something different today. We're gonna do a little jigging. I call them a little bumblebee. They're uh, black and chartreuse or yellow with a little lead head. Got a little bitty hook on there. If uh, you can see that. Anyway, tie these on the same way as you do the weights that we've already went over and the hooks. Just a little different. So, y'all stick around and we'll do a little jigging. All right, well, here we are. Back out the lake. With the jigs, really, and a lot of times you can do this off of a dock or a pier and just dabble it down in the water and just work it up and down. You just want it to kind of mimic uh, swimming, you know, or feeding off the bottom, bouncing on the bottom, whatever. But, uh, and you can cast them as well. Remember the casting? You go like, and out it goes. And we just stirred up a fish. Something was there, fish or a turtle, I'm not sure which. But basically, you jig it up and down. You know, you can do it like that in the water. Or you can cast it out there. It's not this lighter thing is not going to go as far because it is light. If you use a heavier lure, it's going to go a little further. And you can kind of work it like that if you want to. Just kind of pop it through the tip of the rod. Can y'all see that? I hope you can. Uh, just kind of pop it like that. And it'll do kind of like that. Not much to it. This water is real shallow right here. And pretty warm out today. So it's not going to do much good right up here, right on the bank. Unless you're on a rocky bank. If you're around a lot of rocks, sometimes those fish will hide in those shadows of those rocks where it's cool. They're not in the direct sunlight. And especially your perch, bluegill, things like that. A little side cast. Now, I don't think I could discuss that one in our last episode. Uh, your side cast, which is real beneficial when you have a tree behind you or above you, and you can't, you know, you can't cast like that. But this way, you can push the button and just like that. And let her go. You can do it backwards, forwards, kind of like playing tennis. I don't know if you've ever played tennis, but you know, basically the same thing. The only thing is, is you're not hitting the ball. You're hitting the button. Now, y'all want to discuss some different kinds of lures? I have a few with me today. and We can go up here to the truck and check them out. Let's run up here. All right, back up here at the truck. I got my little blue tackle box. I've got a bigger tackle box, and then I've got a one that I mainly put my catfish and stuff in. But this one is really handy for just when you're out and about and you don't want to drag around a lot of stuff. So. Uh, all right, this is the first one on top. This is called a buzz bait. It kind of mimics a frog. But this right here will, ow, will spin across the water. It'll just buzz across the top of the water. This is real good during the spring and uh, mid-fall, mostly the spring because your fish are real active and they're more up in the shallows. And this will stay relatively close to the top if you reel it fast enough. Now, 
This in here is a spinner bait. Y'all see that? It's so bright out here, I can't see the screen to see if y'all can see it. Anyway, this is a spinner bait. It's got the little hook, and it will go across the water and just spin, spin, spin. Always be sure to check your equip your lures out, because this one, if you can see that, the little ring has come unrung. We have to get some pliers and fix that. Hearing a couple of little fish out there jumping. Anyway, that's a spinner bait. It's good summertime, spring, and fall, pretty much year round, but mostly the spring and the summer. It'll go down deeper. Depends on how big of one you get. This right here is lead. It's painted, but it's a weight, and it will take it down. Now, in the last video, we was using these little bumblebees, as I call them. These are good little jigs, if you can see that. And that's what that is. Now, this one is a crankbait. These will get, this particular one will go down about four foot, four or five foot. Depends on how fast you reel it. But it's a square bill crankbait. The reason why they call it square bill is it's flat right there. They have round bills too that are like, it looks like a spoon on the front. And they're concave and they'll make them dive down into the water. These are good for uh, pretty much everything. White bass, striper, large mouth, small mouth and a real aggressive cro crappie, but crappie will hit them too. Yeah, what else we got? Uh, got a swim bait. These are to mimic a minnow. And they'll swim along and that little tail will rattle like that, or swing like that. Very good little lures. Now this is my favorite lures, and they make all kinds of other lures, different colors, um, different shapes, but they're all basically the same thing. They're all mimicking bait. Now, of course, here you have a, uh, this is a topwater lure. It'll splash the water out in front of it. You can just kind of pull it, let it sit, pull it, pull it, let it sit, pull it, and it'll splash the water out. It's got that uh, flat nose on it and it just floats on top of the water. Good little summertime. When you see uh, a lot of action on top of the water, like when your bass and stuff are jumping out of the water, and even your uh, sand bass, white bass, uh, they'll hit this too, because they're feeding. So, like I said, you got different colors. Uh, mainly in your stained water to muddy water you want to go with something that's a little brighter you know chartreuse colored the yellow color uh, white and then you can go with something that's like a bluegill color uh, more something like that you know but really that's pretty much it on those lures I'm going to put a link down in the description to a, a channel video on a, another channel. He goes into a lot more in depth on the uh, different lures for the different things. Y'all be sure to check that out. You'll learn a lot, you know. I, like I said in the beginning, I'm not a professional and this is just the basics. Now we'll put links to some other channels with some really good videos to watch. Y'all check them out. Anyway, I hope y'all found this useful. If you have, be sure to like it and subscribe to the channel. We're going to be heading to Lake Ray Roberts. Do a little fishing down there. So if y'all want to go with us, be watching for that video. It will be coming out soon. In the meantime, like, subscribe, share it with your friends and family. Help this channel grow. Y'all keep on keeping on. We'll see y'all down the road. Bye.